Hey guys, so we've got some really cool stuff here I wanted to show you. Uh, it's about 60 or 70 days after our corn snakes laid their eggs. And, well, we've got some new little visitors here. I'm gonna try to control them. These guys do not like to be told what to do. Come here. Oh, no. No, come here. And then, as if you thought that was a lot. <laughs> so we have eight in total. Uh, let me backlight them so I don't blind the little guys. These are our eight little friends. They're all doing very well. We're gonna feed them in a little bit. <laughs> These guys are really cool. Um, when Once they're hatched, what they'll do is when they make the little slits in the egg, as you can see on this little egg right here, is they actually have enough nutrients in those eggs to live off of them for up to four days or so. So they can stay in there for a little while. You don't have to worry about them getting stuck in there or some other problems with them not being able to get out, they definitely know how to. Uh, these guys are very nice, you don't have to worry about them trying to eat each other or anything. They they can wait a few days, but they come mm. out of the shell biting, so they definitely want to eat. As you can tell, they're all quite ready to eat. As you can hungry. see, they're all looking at so me. So what have they been living in? What They've been this? living in, this is a reptivator, uh, so what we use this for is we keep it at around 80 degrees inside so it doesn't feel like it's majorly hot but what it does is it's keeping them at a constant temperature and what you can do is you can fill there's little underneath that um underneath, this underneath that foam? case that foam yeah there is little rivets that you can put water inside we don't need that because they aren't that dramatically humid uh hang on problem with yeah, opening a box of corn snakes is that you get a box of corn snakes coming out. Potential escapee. <laughs> oh, multiple. So these guys, yeah, they, um, they'll try to make an escape. They're quite energetic. But yeah, you could put water down the bottom. We don't do that. We just opened it every couple of days and spritzed them for water. And they basically did the rest on their own. They're pretty low maintenance for um, when they're incubating. There's not too much you can do. You can take a vacation and you don't have to generally worry about them drying up or anything like that. They carry a lot of everything they need inside the egg, apart from general misting and humidity. What do you, what so you hold up an egg, the egg to show the size. Hang on, I, I'm dealing with multiple escapees. <laughs> multiple people with multiple are. plans. Is there a little, a super little one in there still? Yeah, let's see. Oh no, oh. <laughs> don't you bite me, you little turkey. I'm yanking away as if it's gonna be horrific. I mean, these guys are like two inches long. So they're ready to be fed today. And that's yes, what are. you're going to do. So we, we uh, they hatched. Just a couple of days ago. Yeah, I'm trying to find the baby egg. Mm. It's somewhere in there. And what it's is the substance that they're on? This is vermiculite. It's a good substrate to keep them on because it's very beady. It's good mostly for the eggs. I mean, it's not like something that's perfect for baby corn snakes, but we just keep... You want food, don't you? <laughs> uh, but it's something that you can keep them on when they're, uh, when they're incubating. And it holds moisture well. Yeah, it, it holds moisture really well. It's mostly used for gardening. And wouldn't you say that the most important thing, if you were going to try to um, have a clutch of eggs, would be to get the temperature right and keep that misting? Yeah, I mean, it's very important. You don't want to leave, I mean, they aren't going to die if they're at like maybe a couple of degrees lower than normal, but you do want to keep them at around 80 degrees, so a little bit above room temperature, depending on the household. <laughs> but yeah, so you just keep it at that, and then about 60 to, at the worst, 80 days, you'll have some little corn snake babies like these. Now, you can tell sometimes, like this egg was very tube shaped. Sometimes you'll see in the books where they look like they're all big and bulbous. That's not necessary. I mean, sometimes the eggs will come out big and bulbous, but it doesn't really mean that just because your egg looks like a little pill that you're gonna have less likely a chance of living um, with your babies. See, one of them, I think it's this little guy right here, little feisty junior, um, his egg was completely squished What's down. Uh, I think it's that one, I'm, I'm not fully sure. He okay. might be porking up already. Uh, but one of them, we we had no faith in the egg. He was completely um, collapsed in and shrunken. And it just happened that way kind of from um, since he was, uh, since he came out of his mother. But we just incubated him with the rest. We kept him a little bit separate in case he did. He was bad because sometimes a bad egg can start to infect other good eggs. So we just kept him a little bit separate. But he hatched just like the rest oh, of them and he's it. doing fine right now. Now, I noticed their eyes are blue. Can you explain? Some they're... of that is because they're growing. Um, I'm not fully sure if they're going to go ahead and shed. I don't think so. I think what they're just doing is they're, they're still growing. So They're less than a week old. Yes, they yeah. are. Yeah, they're, they're very new. Days. And let me see them in your hand. 
It's like holding little mischief <laughs> noodles. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. They're extremely curious. The only way these guys survive in the wild is they come out of the egg nipping. They have to be curious about the world, but they also kind of stay together. At least when they're, when they're given the chance, they try to stay together. These guys, when I opened the tub for the first time, it was just a giant nest of corn snakes. <laughs> so, so you're going to try to feed them little yes. pinkies now? Yes. Okay, good. Want we wanted to show you guys our little new scaly friends up close. 